Hey, Dr. Gundry here, and today we're getting back to the basics. We're talking about one of the topics I'm best known for, the microbiome. More specifically, we're going to take a look at the difference between prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotics, and what each can mean for your health. That's right, it's Biotics 101 with Dr. Gundry. Now, I'll dive right in in just a moment. But first, I want to remind you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you never miss a video. And make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you've got any questions. Okay, let's talk microbiome. There are trillions of microbes living inside your body, including bacteria, viruses, yeast, fungi, and other tiny organisms. Most of these microbes live in your large intestine, also known as your gut. This community of microbes is called your gut microbiome. The majority of these bacteria are harmless, but there's also some pretty bad bacteria that can work their way into your gut. And in some cases, that bad bacteria can lead to indigestion, low energy, a vulnerable immune system, and even weight gain. But don't worry, there's also some really good bacteria in your gut microbiome. These good guys are commonly referred to as probiotic bacteria, and they're crucial to your digestion, weight, and overall health. See, probiotics can help ensure that your microbiome works to the best of its ability. When your microbiome is healthy, it plays a crucial role in manufacturing vitamins, helping your body digest food and medications, preventing bad bacteria from entering your bloodstream, supporting your mental health, and even helping you reach a healthy body weight. So it's important to eat a wide array of foods, including probiotic-rich fermented foods, like sauerkraut, kimchi, or goat's milk yogurt. And it's also not a bad idea to supplement with a high-quality probiotic, like my 24-strain probiotic. Of course, when it comes to keeping your gut healthy, probiotics are just the tip of the iceberg. They're living things, and just like every living thing, they need fuel to thrive. That's where prebiotics come in. Prebiotics are types of fiber that the human body can't digest. Your gut bacteria, however, can digest this fiber. Prebiotics serve as fuel or food for probiotics. Prebiotics help nourish your gut bacteria. This helps support a healthy digestive system and immune system. Now, you can get prebiotics from foods you eat. Things like sweet potatoes, Jerusalem artichokes, mushrooms, and radicchio are especially high in prebiotic fiber. But if you want to make it even easier, you can add Prebio Thrive to your daily routine. That's my easy dissolvable, drinkable prebiotic formula. Now, I can't end this video without talking about one other biotic, postbiotics. Postbiotics are bioactive compounds that are produced when probiotic bacteria consume prebiotic fiber in your colon. Technically, postbiotics are a form of waste, but they're actually good for your health. Postbiotics are linked to several human health benefits. Postbiotics like butyrate can help support your immune system. Short-chain fatty acids may help with certain digestive ailments. Postbiotics may suppress hunger signals, which could contribute to weight loss. Now, there are two great ways to make sure you're getting all the benefits of postbiotics. First is to eat plenty of prebiotics and probiotics, because when your probiotics eat prebiotics, they make more postbiotic waste. You can also make it easier on yourself, and that's where one of my most popular formula come into play. I'm talking about BioComplete 3. These simple capsules combine prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotics for a three-in-one gut support super formula. And if you're curious to find out more, you can click the link in the description below to learn all about them. 
because I'm Dr. Gundry and I'm always looking out for you. First of all, what the heck is a lectin? Well, lectins are plant proteins. They're found in all sorts of members of the vegetable kingdom, and they happen to be one of nature's greatest defenses against any hungry animal or human being. Now, not all lectins are toxic. 